Resident Evil 2, or Biohazard 2 as it's known in Japan, is a survival horror game developed by Capcom and released on January 21st, 1998 on the PlayStation. The second game in the Resident Evil series, it focuses on exploration, combat and puzzle solving, combined with the usual early survival horror pitfalls of limited saves and ammo. Even though development of the game began one month after completion of its predecessor, the original concept of the game differed massively from the Resident Evil 2 we all know today. Video game producer and director Shinji Mikami, whose body of work includes such titles as God Hand, The Evil Within and Dino Crisis, amongst others, went as far as to mockingly call the early version of the game Resident Evil 1.5 and openly admits that he and director Hidekai Kamiya found it too dull and boring. You see, even though the 1.5 version of the game followed the same basic plot outline as the eventual release, it was felt to be lacking. A 40 to 50 person strong development team made up of half the staff from the original Resident Evil game and the rest newer Capcom employees were led by director Hidekai Kamiya. Mikami and Kamiya would regularly disagree during the game's development, with Mikami even eventually stepping back into a less hands-on role as producer. And even though the game actually reached 60 to 80% completion, Resident Evil 1.5 was eventually scrapped. It was believed that while certain elements of the game were good individually, they just weren't cohesive as a whole. So a few items and ideas from 1.5 were attained and all attention was then turned to a fresh approach for a new look Resident Evil 2. Set two months after the happenings of the first game, Resident Evil 2 takes place in Raccoon City, a city ravaged by the deadly T-Virus, a biological weapon that was developed by Umbrella and devastated the community by turning all those who lived there into zombies. So the game's two heroes, Lee N. S. Kennedy and Claire Redfield, must battle against the odds and explore, fight and solve puzzles as they try and survive this nightmarish world. Resident Evil 2's main difference to Resident Evil 1 was the introduction of the zapping system, where each of the game's two main playable characters are given different puzzles and storylines depending on their current retrospective scenarios. If one character completes scenario A for example, scenario B is then unlocked, in which the events will then be depicted from the other player's point of view. These scenarios could be started by either character and could lead to a total of four different outcomes. As development continued, it became very obvious that a new game redesigned from the ground up was being created. New graphical environments were implemented using a software program called O2, where each background in the game took two to three weeks to render. It was decided also to reduce the amount of zombies displayed on screen at any one time to seven. This in turn allowed for more detailed models of Leon and Claire. Furthermore, Instead of displaying their wounds, our heroes would now limp slowly when hurt, and it was decided to use stop motion animations of action figures for the cutscenes. The game, the game was starting to take shape. Released to critical acclaim after a $5 million advertising campaign, Resident Evil 2 quickly went on to become the fastest selling video game in the US, selling a whopping 380,000 units and grossing 19 million in the week of its release. Initially only released on the Sony PlayStation, this success earned the game ports to Windows, Dreamcast, N64 or more, with even a PlayStation DualShock version re-release, to take advantage of the vibration and analogue features of Sony's DualShock controller. Regularly featured in top 5 lists of the best PlayStation games of all time, Resident Evil 2 owes its success in part to its very responsive collision detection system, and the design team sure had fun testing it. As a means of doing so, they created a secret character in the game called Tofu, who is exactly as he sounds. He's even unlockable in the game if you know how. The Tofu minigame is exactly like the Fort Survivor minigame, but instead of Hunk, the ill-fated special agent from Alpha Team, you take on the role of Tofu in his stead. His ridiculous adventure can be unlocked by completing scenarios from the main game six times in a row, all under two and a half hours, with a flawless A rating. Easy, right? The reward is worth it though. Easily the hardest mission in the game, as Tofu is simply armed with a few herbs and a knife, you must battle your way through the same environment that Hunk did. Clearly in on the joke, the developers left Hunk's voice in for the cutscenes, and our brave hero even swears in Japanese when attacked. Tofu does have bucket loads of stamina however, and instead of limping when in caution can run normally. They even had time to turn our beloved Tofu from white to a lovely crimson red when damaged, or purple when poisoned which, no escaping it, does slow him down. Resident Evil 2 was a massively successful game when released, and even though things don't appear to have ended well for Tofu, as Hunk seems to be shown eating him aboard a helicopter at the end of the game, 
the Resident Evil franchise continues to go from strength to strength. Albums containing the game's music, remasters and several sequels all point to and reaffirm that Resident Evil 2 is one of the best survival horror games of the time.